Hello everybody, I want to see if I can do a couple more pages in my usual scraps junk journal. Um, I have got um, some more happy mail from um, Lena. Um, I just absolutely love this image here, which um, again, I think has come from Flow magazine or something like that, but colour wise, it's just perfect for my journal. Now I've pulled out this um, piece here from the journal and I think I'm going to stick it down to this middle page spread here. Now I'm going to try and peel this label um, up without causing any damage um, to my page. Um, let me just move those out of the way. I can always use my heat tool just to try and melt um, that glue and help with the process. So I'm just going to try and peel this up. There we go, that's gone now. So what I want to do is take the plies apart on this napkin and I want to use this as a background. Now, is this one? Um, or two plies, uh, two or three plies, it's three. So I'm just going to very, very carefully peel these plies apart. This napkin here is being really stubborn. So I'm just going to go off and uh, try and do this really carefully. Now napkin usually comes apart quite easily at the edges, but this one just doesn't want to. So I'm just taking um, some sticky tape and peeling it from the um, center because of course the edge is where the um, adhesive is. So I'm just going to gently um, prise this um, apart. Now you can see that um, second layer just did not want to come off um, the edges of the napkin. I've applied some glue over my piece of paper here and I'm just going to take this section of napkin here and pop it, pop it down there like, like that. And then I can flip that over and smooth, smooth it down. We've got a few creases, but you know, that's, that's okay. That's fine. If I rub these gently enough, I should be able to iron most of these and um, these out. I could just glue my focal image down onto this piece of paper here like this, but I don't want to. Um, I have glued another piece of scrap. This is just some polka dot tissue paper that, um, Oh, I don't know, I've received something in and I've just glued it down to a piece of regular white um, paper, copier paper, and I'm going to use this as well. Um, just because you know how much I love layers and I just think that looks so pretty. Um, I do want to round the corners. I'm just going to use my um, X-cut corner rounder to do, to do that. I think just on this piece here and the polka dot um, paper, and then I'm going to glue everything down and that will be my first page for today um done and looking gorgeous i just love the colors um of this so that's that page back in the journal i absolutely love those patterns and colors together absolutely gorgeous um apologies for the um reflection as well but isn't that just um just lovely now, moving on i want to work on where's it gone this page here absolutely um love the color of this and i've got um what i think um will be the perfect scraps i'm going to take it out of the journal to work on it just because that's um, easier for me. The beauty of having, having everything strung in with elastic. Now I've got this beautiful focal image here and you can see that that just works absolutely perfectly with that gorgeous green textured wallpaper background. Um, this is another magazine image. Um, I think this is from an art magazine. Again, this is another one that um, Lena gifted me last year and I've pulled out some other scraps that I thought um, I might be able to team um, with it. I've got this um, lace here. This is plastic lace really fun again from lena she sent me a couple of these i've got it um in pink as well and it must be something that's quite popular um in uh, europe because where's it gone i've also got this which is plastic as well that was gifted to me by my friend katharina that one's too dark um i want to use the um white one today and i thought that now how did i want this to go i was thinking that i could maybe have the lace on the edge like this have my magazine image um, on top. I am determined to use um, some of the lovely happy mail that um, I've received because this journal is just absolutely perfect for it. I've also got um, a doily. Let me just see if I can lift this up because I was thinking that the doily might go here. Um, like like that and I've also got um, a beer mat now this was given to me by my lovely friend Rob who runs a pub um, local to us and he was going to take these to the um, tip um, he's given me two packets of uh, well, two boxes full of these I've also got them in a really gorgeous fuchsia pink so following the junk theme that's what I'm going to um, use 
So I'm going to pop that on there like that. And then I've also got this lovely flower, which again came from Lena. Now I need to make sure I don't want to cover her face up. So I'm going to have to play um, around with placement um, of this. And then I need to have a think about what I can put um, in the top left hand corner, because of course it's weighted towards the bottom and I haven't got that far yet. So I'm going to stick all of this down just wanted to show you how I've glued this down. I've glued these down with just regular glue stick and this one here I've used my decanted um, three in one um, just in one of these fine nozzle bottles. I've added glue just to the top and just to this um, solid scallop just at the bottom so that's been weighted down underneath a heavy book. I'm now ready to glue the rest of the bits and pieces down. What I do want to do is ink around the edges of my lady so I'm just going to um, do this just to get rid of the um, white edges and give it that um, vintagey, grungy feel. I like that look. And you can see I'm doing exactly the same with this um, flower as well, just because the edging on it was just um, too bright white. Love that. And now I feel we've got a bit of contrast between the bright white um, of the lace and the doily and these other embellishments here. So I'm just going to um, stick those down just using a glue stick as well. And then we'll deal with what we're going to do in this top left hand um, corner. So we're almost done. Now I've pulled out um, a quote. There is nothing like a dream to create the future and this comes from um, Tim Holt's Small Talk. I think that um, goes really well. She looks as if she's um, dreaming, doesn't she? So I'm going to um, glue those down there like that. So I've added my quote and I did use a little bit of extra glue, weighted it down underneath a heavy book. It needs something um, else. I haven't inked around the edges um, either. I don't know whether you can see. Just because I like the bright white with the doily and the lace as well, it just didn't need it. We've got the um, inked edges on these here. Now I'm going to see if I can find um, a butterfly um, that works courtesy of my lovely friend Laura. Um, perhaps we could have um, a dragonfly. Oh, what shall we have? Let me just have a look and see what um, what I can find. Oh, we've got this metal one here. Um, love that. That might work. We've got these tiny um, weeny white ones here as well. Um, I'm going to have a look through um, all of these and I'll pull a couple out. We've got this um, glittery white, pearlescent um, white one here. Perhaps the simplicity of something like that would um, would be better. I love that page. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And you can see here that I opted for a really tiny white butterfly with just a few blue speckles on it, which I thought picked up the blue um, in her bonnet. Love that. So I'm just going to weight that down underneath a heavy book just to make sure that all that uh, glue grabs and legs work on one more page. Now this time I want to work on this grungy page here. So again, I'm going to take it um, out of the journal. Um, this is a jelly print. I love that. It's just beautiful. I've also got um, a napkin that was gifted to me by my friend Alien. Um, and I think I'm going to use this. I think um, the grungy texture um, in the background here works absolutely beautifully with that um, napkin. And so what I'm going to do is just cut one of the panels out and let's see what we can do with this. Don't you think these two are a match made in heaven? They just work beautifully together, don't they? Gosh, how perfect. Um, now, what I want to do, I've kept the layers apart for the time being. And what I want to do is get rid of some of this branding. I've just got um, a paintbrush and some plain um, water. We've got some branding here. What I do want to do is just apply some water around here like this, going as close to the top as I possibly um, can, all the way down um, the side. Might need to um, add some more water just here like this. And this will allow me to be able to um, tear the napkin um, more, more easily. Here we go, because it will just follow the line of that, um, that water and give me a jaggedy um, edge, which is exactly what um, I want. Um, I might need to add a bit more um, here as well. There's quite a few layers um, on this. So let's do this again. Here we go. 
just along the um, top and just just tear that just being really careful um, about it so now I can take the um, layers apart I think we've got um, three plies here let's um, just gently um, take these apart here we go like like this um, because otherwise if you keep the layers intact when you glue it down all you're doing is gluing the underside and so eventually this one's going to um, peel off I'm going to use some um, matte medium I've got the Galleria matte medium I'm just going to apply a little bit um, here we go to my page I've got um, a soft paintbrush here like this just apply plenty of that matte medium I'm working on a piece of uh, parchment paper just to catch the excess glue and I keep rotating my parchment paper and deli papers and just let um, each one dry out and then you know use them over and over again now of course I want my bird over here like this I'm just going to make sure I get it um, towards the bottom like this and I'm just going to use my paintbrush um, again just to smooth that down and because I've got those jaggedy edges you're not it's not going to look like um, a harsh line so I can put some more matte medium on as well just to make sure that that's some um, glued down so we'll put some more over the top um, like like this smooth smooth that out and of course because the paper is so thin it's going to soak through to the um, other side so the glue is all dry now and I can just um, carefully trim um, around the edges and just get rid of the um, excess napkin and I think that will make um, a beautiful page these two pages have been weighted down underneath a heavy book. This one is still a bit floppy and curling at the edges, but by the time I've done something to the other side, um, that will flatten it out. Of course, this one being wallpaper is a lot more stable. Um, I just need to find a place for these to go um, in the journal. I think I'll have this one here like this. And again, I know I keep um, harping on about this, but the good thing about having um, flexible signatures is that you can sort of take things in and out and move things um, around and where do I want this one to go I think I'll have this um, here so that um, that page is there like like that where's the other where's the other side of it just be careful when you're sliding your pages in and out that they don't tear so I like I like that so those pages flow nicely together and where's the other side of that page where's it gone oh where is it I've lost it here it is isn't that just beautiful and that works nicely with this um, page here as I'm well all that done for today but three more pages done in the third signature of my journal now I've still got to find something to pop in this um, pocket here um, but this is the napkin page I did on that jelly print background that background could not have been more perfect I love that page it's just beautiful I also need to find something to go in this pocket here so maybe that's what I'll focus on in my next video perhaps I'll you know focus on putting um, tags and that kind of thing to fill my uh, pockets still lots of pages left to fill as well I love this page the colors are just absolutely gorgeous really calming um, a real zen page love that um, image and where's the other one that I did today here we go there is nothing like a dream to create the future I love the colors in this page here as well and just a really lovely use I think of magazine um, images and scraps and things that you've just got lying around that we all hold on to so I hope that it's given you some more ideas um, for, for you know filling your pages of your junk journals and if any of you do any more don't forget to share them with us in the Facebook group the mixed media emporium um, but if you if enjoyed my video today as always i'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below and if you're not subscribed i'd really appreciate you following along for future videos so don't forget to hit that bell notification but thanks for watching take care everyone and i'll see you all again soon bye for now